Okay, it's about quarter quarter to eight, or maybe quarter to seven. I'm not sure. Daylight savings might have started last night. I'm not finished. I'm not um, entirely sure on that. I guess I'll find out when I get the thread bow. Oh, my phone updates at some stage. Um, so I'm just leaving Slink Pass. I'm dropping down to White's River Hut this morning. Gonna fill up some water. And then I'm gonna climb over there into those mountains. I'll do a better shot in a minute of them. Um, so this is probably the crux of the bit from um, Thawa to Threadbow, this bit across the the kind of rolling ground in the main range. It should be fine today. I've got my actually something very unusual. I got long pants on because it's a bit scratchy over to um, Constant Stephen Pass and then it's all good so I'll probably slip the shorts back on then. Looks like it's going to be another sensational day. All right, I better get down to White's River and um, get organised. That's where I'm heading. I actually think I might climb between those two peaks there. But don't quote me on that. I don't even see those glistening things in that valley down there. That would be Perisher. This is the White's River hut up here. This is um, the track I'm heading after Bricky through there. I'm just gonna go over the hut and use the toilet and have some Bricky. track bit. That'll finish very soon though. Okay, I'm heading across that saddle there, that ridge. Just trying to avoid the boggy stuff in the valley as much as I can. Okay, that's Constant Stephen Pass down the bottom there. That's where I'm heading. Get along that ridge. So, I picked up this faint pad now. Stephen Constant, uh, Constant Stephen Pass. There's Guthica down there. That ridge there is the quick way down off the main range if you needed to get down to Guthica. Going along here. I think uh, so I think um I think I'm gonna 
be about tight in the next one I climb. I'll let you know when I get up there. passing through Anton Anderson's saddle. Now the climbing begins. We're gonna get up there. Yeah, so I'm just climbing past Mount Anton up there. I ain't going to the top of that one, thank God. off going on at the moment getting ready for next summer now so it's a bit of a haze brown haze of smoke I've picked up the old four wheel drive track that I'm going to follow all the way to the lake circuit now So I'm getting reasonably close to Mount Twynham. Probably another half hour. That's uh, Watson's Crags out there. I always want to get out there. I'll never get out there. I'm not going to be able to do it this trip. Maybe uh, a standalone job, I think. Twynham. That's looking across the town's end. I'm going to camp below that tonight. Blue Lakes down underneath me. I might drop down there for a bit of a look. I just had afternoon tea. Get the tent dry. Time to set off again. Look at that smoke haze. So I'm up on Carruthers Peak. It's the last of the big ones for the day. 21,045 I think. There's a couple of people up here. I don't know, I think this smoke haze might actually enhance the views, give it some depth. Pretty amazing. Over that way. Thank 
track over there. Lake. It's coming up on the video. That's Lake Albina down there. Camp set up. I'm in the Wilkinson Valley. This place is stunning. I'm gonna drop down now and find some water there. Here's my little shelf. What a beautiful little spot. That one over there. I camped it a few weeks ago actually. That one over there is um Kosciuszko. That one over there is Townsend, the first and second highest peaks in Australia. So I might sign off now before it gets completely dark. Um, solid day today, the figures don't really show it, but it was probably the hardest day of the walk. Maybe the day I climbed Bimbury Peak was a little bit harder, but there's not much in it. Um, 26 and a half Ks and about a, just under a thousand meters, around about a thousand meters climbing. Um, but the, the hardness is, um, there's no water up the top now, it's dry. So I had to carry on the water and plus it's a bit tussocky and rough for, you know, a fair chunk of the distance. Um, it's doable, but yeah, it, it takes it out of you. It's not like walking on a track. Um, finished off with a great sunset courtesy of all the burn off smoke i'm just cooking tea now and then i'm going to be in bed tomorrow short run into threadbow and then a rest day the day after that give my feet give my toe a chance to get a little bit better it's been better since uh since i had the pus explosion the other day i'm trying to keep it clean but it's a bit of a battle um but yeah good day today i hope the video does justice to the scenery all right, I'll catch up with you the next time.